Good morning, my sisters and brothers in Christ. The season of Advent is upon us again, and we begin the church's new year watching and waiting for Jesus. The gospel tells us, be watchful, be alert. God's coming is going to surprise us. And certainly our Lord's command directs our attention to what is most important in our lives. We must be focused on Christ Jesus, our Lord and Savior. This is not always easy to do in our culture with the daily responsibilities, anxieties, and worldly distractions. But the Advent season gives us an opportunity to prepare our minds and our hearts to celebrate the coming of our Lord at Christmas and to refocus on the mystery of our faith. Christ has died. Christ has risen. Christ will come again. I think most of us, if not all of us, have experienced watching and waiting for a loved one at a busy airport. We are anxious and alert, watching every face in the crowded terminal. With joyful anticipation, we watch and wait for his or her arrival. When we learn that the flight schedule has changed or that there might be delays, we become more alert and the intensity of our watching increases. No matter how tired we might feel, the excitement of that coming together overpowers any thought of inconvenience, boredom, or fatigue. Are we waiting for Jesus this way? Does that joyful anticipation emanate within us as we prepare for Mass, or greet one another, or perhaps even in the final moments of our lives? When I read and prayed this week's Gospel, I thought of Saint Brother Andre Bisset. He was truly a gatekeeper for the Lord. Perhaps you know of him. Brother Andre was a religious brother of the Congregation of Holy Cross in Montreal, Quebec. He was a very short and frail man. In 1872, Andre was given the menial task of porter at Notre Dame College with additional duties as sacristan, laundry washer, and messenger. But in his latter years, he would tell visitors, you know, when I joined this community, the superiors showed me the door, and I've remained here these 40 years. But as doorkeeper and greeter, Andre shined. It was Brother Andre's love for God that inspired people to faith. His ministry centered in long hours of prayer, fasting, and healing. As his reputation spread, people would correspond, enough to warrant four secretaries handling 80,000 letters each year. Brother Andre began a campaign and worked very diligently to have a chapel built and later a basilica to honor St. Joseph, foster father of our Lord Jesus Christ. Brother Andre loved God and everyone he greeted. His joy for the Lord was radiant, and that joy came from his awareness of God, God's love for him and for the people he served. Brother Andre died in 1937 at age 91. A million people filed past his coffin. My sisters and brothers, as we begin this holy season of Advent, let us joyfully prepare for the coming of the Lord. Let us be alert and watchful, and may the example of Saint Brother Andre inspire us to be God's humble, compassionate doorkeepers, ready to greet each person as the Lord himself. Saint Andre, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Lord Jesus, come in glory.